Element 3D gives you easy option to work with reflections and objects. So I'm going to go into the scene setup right here and then I'm going to work around with its reflection. So I'm going to go on to my models right here. I'm going to go into my starter pack and select an object to work with its reflectivity. So I'm going to select this billboard right here and press OK. And you can see that there are three objects, three uh, materials inside a billboard, poster one, poster two, and so forth. Let me check out which poster one is. It's the one on this side. So I'm going to work around with its reflectivity right here. And for reflection, we need environment. So I'm going to select a more busy environment for this. This is a simple one. So I'm going to go on to my environment and I select this out and I'm going to select uh, one of these garden environment, press open. So you can see that there's basic level of reflectivity already over here, but that is uh, simply the default object. So I'm going to go into the poster one and I'm going to scroll this down until you see reflectivity. You can also go over here into reflectivity options. So right now the intensity is zero percent. So I'm going to just increase this out and you can see that reflectivity is there. Now this is simply a mirror as you can see right here. You can also work around with the color of the reflectivity. So you can have a bit of a bluish tone or a whitish tone so forth according to what you like. So I'm going to press OK and you can see that it is quite reflective right off the bat just like that. Scroll up, it is quite reflective. So you can decrease the level of reflectivity and there you go. So you want to create mirror or something like that. You can just bump up the reflectivity. So let us apply a shiny material to all of this to uh, have a sort of a reflectivity. So I'm going to go into poster 2. I'm going to increase the level of reflectivity on this one as well. So there's a level of reflectivity. And on the billboard, I'm going to increase the reflectivity as well. So I'm going to go over here on to reflectivity, increase the intention. There's already a level of reflectivity as you can see right here on this object right here because it is and it is dominated by these textures right here. So I'm just going to apply another uh, another op uh, material to this. Just click and drag and work around with that. So I'm going to work with whites. So I'm going to change the basic color something to like a metal color right here. So I'm going to go over here onto basic color and change it to something like a metal. And I'm going to go on to my reflectivity portion right here, increase the level of reflectivity. And you can see that now everything is quite reflective and shiny right there. So that is how you can work with reflectivity. And once I press OK, uh, the object will show up over here. And I'm, I can create a new camera right here, press OK. And I can just uh, rotate it around so I can orbit the camera around just like that. And you can see that there's shiny reflective material according to the setup we made in Element 3D plugin. So that is how you can work with reflectivity inside of Element 3D. Hope you guys learned something as always. And as always, please like, comment, share and subscribe.